Good afternoon. So, dating crossroads. Why can't we be friends? Or why we can't be friends? That's the topic today, number 413. So let's get into this. Welcome, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And we're getting the love, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Message for the Masculine to inspire the feminine heart. Yes, thank you, 413. <laughs> now get into that. <laughs> um, and so I do these talks every day, as I mentioned, and for over a year now, which is why I'm now up to number 413. And today's topic is inspired by a friend again. Um, unfortunately, she's busy tonight, so she won't be seeing this to in the replay. But if you're here in live, you can watch it in the replay. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, it was first on YouTube live. Sorry, it was first on Facebook Live, then it was on YouTube. And also, if you listen to this on my podcast, it was originally a video on Facebook Live. So, in case you're wondering why I'm talking to people who you can't see if you're listening to me in the audio. Make sense? Okay. So, Petya, nice to see you here. Thank you for being here and sending the love. I appreciate that and for sharing it out if you wish. Um, this topic again was inspired by a friend who's going through some challenges. And if you're like any of us, you may have been through this, this one before too. The challenge of going out on a few dates and then discovering that you really want to be friends. But the question is, can you be friends? And this is a sticky topic, but I hope to be able to dissect it a little bit, give you some insights, some suggestions, and some perhaps rather blunt direction, because <laughs> it could go there, knowing how these go, so just to say that. So let's get into this, shall we? Um, the scenario is you've been out with somebody a few times maybe three or four times, and you're realizing that the chemistry, the romance, the juice just, just isn't there. And so you know that there's not going to be a relationship. The question is, have you let them down? Because if it was doing, happening to you, you want to be let down gently, I trust. And also, what would you think would happen afterwards? Like, were you out on dates just to get to know them for a possible romantic relationship, in which case there's no friendship in, in there in the first place? And that gives me another piece I'll come back to in a second. Or are you in a position where you want to make friends with everybody, and it doesn't matter what happens, you're going to make friends anyway, because some people are like that too. Personally, I haven't been that way. Um, I'm getting better at that. But at the same time, I'm also in a different f field of um, prospecting. <laughs> prospecting, interesting choice. Um, in, my own, in my own dating life, I don't want to expose too much because I'm not really sure where I'm going with that. Let me just stay the topic at hand, which is for your benefit. Um, <laughs> we generally speaking as men, I'll say that much, go out on dates with women we meet with a focus of intention towards relationship first as a primary um, exploration, let's put it that way. Now for some men, not me, but other men I know, their focus is to get laid, period, they don't care about anything else, in which case friendship is not even on the table and this topic doesn't even relate to them. But if you're a woman who has experienced that, this may be used to you. Um, so still keep listening. Now, some women do it to men as well, so I'm not just saying it's only men, but generally speaking, it's more men that do this to women than women do it to men, where the idea is just to get them into bed and then be done with them and not care anymore. That's totally excusing the desire for a friendship on any level, in which case, you're out of luck. There's another piece I want to drop in as well before I get too much further, which is this. When you are... Um, how do I say this? When you've been friends with somebody for a long time and you discover suddenly this chemistry, which is the other way around, that's an interesting experience too because you may be in a place where you've been friends with them for only six months, maybe, maybe longer, you know each other for a while, hang in the same circles, and suddenly there's a spark, there's something that shows up where you get this, like, hang on a second, they're a lot more attractive than I thought they, I thought they were, or there was like suddenly this connection, this chemistry, this touch, this electricity, we go, whoa, that wasn't there before, kind of cool actually when it happens. So then you start exploring romance, but maybe at some point in time you discover again, like in the only scenario, that there isn't actually a relationship there. That it was a spark, but it went away. In that scenario, or in this scenario rather, the opportunity to be friendship is actually much easier because you've already built a foundation. And this is one of the keys I'm going to give you. You already know what I'm going probably with this. Is for most people when they go on dating sites, dating apps, and other times to meet people in romantic settings, there's one one bandwidth they're working on, which is the bandwidth of romance and relationship. The bandwidth of friendship isn't in the picture at this point, which is why when you go, just let's be friends, it isn't really available. 
because you haven't built it yet. And this is one of those things where the idea of connection and social engagement is very important if you're looking for building friendships that maybe could later on become a relationship. So here's a key, and probably the biggest key of all. I'm saying this because I don't know for sure. <laughs> I say probably because I don't know. These are coming through as they come through. So in your romantic explorations, if you're just going to people you meet on a dating site or dating app, you're meeting them for the first moment, checking them out for possible romance. That's what it's for. So there's no exploration of friendship there first. Now, you might get to the point where you meet somebody through a dating app and quickly enough you see it's not going to be romantic and you see that there's value there, there's friendship there, there's possibility there. So you go, let's make this a friendship. And who knows, maybe later on it will become romantic. Because the thing is, friendship is a good chance to get to know somebody. And I'm not saying all your dates should start off that way, unless I am. <laughs> However, in the context of going out on dates after you've been friends, you've already established this platform, this, um, what's the word I want to use? This layer, I want to see if that works, a friendship before you put the layer of romance on top of that. And it's, in a way, it's kind of that understanding. It's, it's like, <laughs> I just had this vision of sponge cakes, so I'm going to use that. So, <laughs> if you imagine that when you meet somebody, the sponge cake on, is the actual, the sponge cake itself is the friendship. The icing on top is the relationship, the romantic, sexual connection, polarity, chemistry, etc., etc. If that's on top of the friendship, if that goes away, you've still got the sponge cake. You've still got the friendship. This is a really bad analogy, but I hope it works. If in fact you start with just the icing on the cake without the cake underneath, you get you get the icing on top, which is the romantic connection, attraction, chemistry, all those things. Without the, without the sponge cake, without it. That's another part, by the way. Um, I'll come back to that part in a second. But without that underneath, when that goes away, there's nothing left. Now, I just realized that he puts another piece in there, which is if you go out on a romantic date and you meet somebody, fall in love with them, that is the icing on the cake, so to speak. But what you do in the relationship, I hope, I pray, I invite you to, I suggest to you, I recommend to you, is that not only do you stay in that area, but you build a friendship underneath it. So what you're doing is you're building the foundation underneath the cake so it stays up. So the truth is, at the end of that, the relationship might end up going back to friendship. But the good news is, the friendship's still there because you've built it inside the relationship. So what I'm showing you is there's different ways of doing this. But the reality, I want to make clear to you, is if you go on somebody on dates, especially if it's the first thing you do when you meet them, is go on a date because you met them through a dating app, dating site, so the mindset, the focus, the intention is for that to happen, then it's very likely that when that ends, presuming it does end briefly, there is no friendship to fall back on. I mean, it's kind of obvious, I hope. So the idea about can we be friends and why we can't be friends is very clear. We can be friends after the romantic exploration if the friendship's already there and, and if, and this is key, if you have in fact built a friendship along the way. Because it really is clear for me is that friendship does not show up out of thin air. I mean, it's kind of obvious, I know. But if you don't have friendship as part of your, um, what's we're looking for? You don't have friendship as part of your intention. You don't have friendship as part of your desire when you meet somebody. Then you can't just build it out of thin air afterwards and it won't just materialize. So it needs to be created beforehand. So what I'm saying is really, if you're looking for the idea of having friendship after the relationship, you've either got to build a friendship first, then add a relationship afterwards. Or you can meet somebody, fall in love with them, have the romance happening first, and build the relationship, build the friendship as you build coming along, so that if and when that relationship falls away, the, the friendship is still there. Because reality is, and they talk about, I mean, you've heard this say many times before, and I'm rushing over too fast here, where people have said that their partner in relationship is their best friend. That's not a mistake. That's a, a very smart move. So this idea about being a friend is really, I would say, more relationship-centric than dating-centric. So my calling it a dating crossroads is because when you start going out with somebody and things go a certain way where it's like it doesn't proceed into relationship, you're at crossroads. Do you try to go to friendship, which I don't recommend, as I just said, or do you go back to saying, bye, nice to see you, have a nice life, which is one way of doing it. And I'm not saying which is necessarily right or wrong, but I'm saying that the opportunity for friendship is usually based upon some sort of mutual attraction for common values, 
and intrigue and conversation and other things like that, which may or may not have sexual overtone, romantic connection or chemistry involved. Because really that's, that's one way of defining it, sort of. And so I want to make sure that this is landing for you, that this is a, a um, understanding of the, of the, I won't say the dichotomy, but certainly the double focus of dating and friendship. They rarely go together directly unless you set that up initially. And this is the thing. And, and let me say this for us men. Because <laughs> ladies, you may have this sense where you want to say, you know, I'm going to go out with somebody and hope you'll go out to be a relationship. And if nothing, if it doesn't go that well, well, at least we'll have like friendship. We're not wired that way, generally speaking. Us men, as I've mentioned many times in our talk, especially when we're masculine, are generally more singular focused. We're more laser, we're just more directional, which is what makes us attractive to women. Ladies, you know this. However, if you're going on a date with a man, and it's the first, time you, the first date you're going on, you haven't done, had no prior background, no study, except maybe a couple of messages over your, your dating profiles. The single focus the man has is relationship. Maybe sex, maybe dating, maybe intimacy, maybe a relationship, maybe in that spectrum. It's not on friendship unless you set it up first. It's made it really clear to you. So ladies, if you're looking for creating more friendships with men, then you should focus on that. If you're looking to have friendships with men after you date them, make friends with them first. Because we are sequential, as I've mentioned. We are linear. So when we do things, if we're building friendship, we're building friendship. If chemistry shows up later, as I mentioned earlier, more power to you. That's great. Because you've already built the friendship and it can be really fun to have the sexual chemistry on top. Um, I have had a couple of experiences of friends with benefits. And that was a very interesting thing, which in a way is kind of it speaks to this in a way. Which is that friends with benefits is the idea that there's friendship first and sex is second. So in some ways that actually works as long as the friendship is solid. But sometimes it can ruin the friendship. And this, this is the other part I want to throw in the back end of it. Is that if you're in a friends first and you become romantically involved, but then something traumatic happens where the, guy, where the partner, the other person cheats, cheats on you or does something totally against your desires, requirements and rules, the friendship may not be available. Because you may have basically blown the friendship up by having the relationship. So bear in mind that sometimes friendship shouldn't go into a relationship because you may find out things about your friend that you don't want to know. So this dance of dating versus friendship has layers to it. It also has some keys to it that hopefully you'll understand as I share this out as an intention to, um, to provide you with insights and some keys to help you get where you want to go in a relationship but also help you have keys about how you create your friendships and keep them sacred and valuable. As I mentioned, this is from my friend who is not available tonight to watch this, she'll be watching the replay. But I think she understands this already, we've talked about this before. Um, and I want to make sure that this breakdown gives you value, gives all of you value, not just me, and not just her. So I hope this has made sense. Um, I haven't seen any comments, so I trust it has. You're all probably busy making notes, or you're just watching and taking it all in and absorbing it. At least I hope so. <laughs> if you're watching this live, I appreciate you being with me. If you're watching the replay, um, either way, you can put in comments and I'll respond in the, in the uh, comments after as myself. Um, I'm just thinking of anything else on this piece to give you that will help you. I'm giving you all the aspects and components. Friendship first, relationship first. I'm just reviewing. I think that's it. I think you've got enough insights. Is it, if there's any other questions, again, if you're watching the replay, if there's any questions that I didn't cover in this, please put in the comments below and I'll respond afterwards. Um, if you are stuck and you're really having a challenge finding the right way to get to a relationship, my gift to you is, as I share every day, is my um, invitation to take action, which is to sign up for a discovery session with me. If you go to my website, which is my name, barryselby.com, click on Let's Chat, which is the left-hand side of the menu, and fill out the form and sign up there and you'll be scheduled to have a talk with me. And we'll have some fun. <laughs> my gift to you, so it doesn't cost you anything. However, I will, if it lines up, offer you my coaching support, and we can talk about that then. This is my 413th broadcast, yes, every day. And this will be appearing on my business page shortly, on Facebook, which is Barry Selby to author, with all my other broadcasts, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, and on my now growing podcast on iTunes, which is also called Messages from the Masculine. So if you're somebody who wants to listen to my talks, but you can't sit in front of the video and watch it, you can also listen to them in, on my podcast, whether you're driving, riding a bike, 
working at the gym, doing other things. When you're working, you can listen to it in your ears. It's a podcast. My gift to you. See, I'm here to make sure you get what you need. Um, so with that, thank you for watching, as always. This is... I've already got a topic for tomorrow that showed up today, so I was talking to which one to go, so I've got one for tomorrow now. Um, so come back tomorrow, join me. Every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time is my intention to do these broadcasts. So I'll be doing this again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, with that, I wish you a pleasant evening. Oh, <laughs> homework. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have anything for you today. I'm sure if you've been listening to this broadcast, this talk, you have been reviewing your own past dating life experiences, so you know where it didn't line up, it did line up. But I'll give you this as an advisory. So not so much homework, but an advisory. Going forward in your dating life, if you're single and looking for dates and you want to have more friends, then make more friends. If you go out on dates to get more relationship possibilities, then focus on that. But try not to split the focus, it won't work that well, especially with us men. And that, I think, makes it clear. Take care of yourselves. I will see you again tomorrow. Um, and again, I'm here to support you. If you want that, reach out. I don't bite. Well, not on the first date anyway. Um, <laughs> take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.